All right, morning, morning, everyone. Um, today is August 11th, and we are going to be finishing the trail tomorrow. We are going to be finishing. Ended up camping at mile, I don't know, 1169 and some change. There's a little turn off on this road, and we are going to make oil, oil city road yesterday, which is another four miles ahead of us. But my feet were shredded, Magpie's feet were shredded, and got to that pull-off spot, and it was kind of like, you know what? We only got sub 50 miles to do in two days, so no, no need to just make it complete Swiss cheese on the feet. So now we're just cruising road for the next nine-ish miles until we get to the coast. And once we get to the coast, a little bit of beach walking, back to road until I push, and hopefully you can make it across that little river today. We will see though. And um, yeah, this is gonna be a little longer video this morning. I wanna give you the kind of the lay down. Everything I own is soaked. I don't know about Magpie. I'm pretty dry actually. She's got some dry stuff. Everything I own is soaked. Um, you should also know that Constantine smells horrible. So I smell good, I smell good <laughs> apparently. And yeah, it ended up, I don't know, around midnight or one o'clock, it ended up starting to drizzle. I'm like, hmm, all right. That started to rain harder, so. Had to put the rain fly on in the middle of the night with uh, crotchless drawers, which was fun. And yeah, we're cruising down this road. It's gonna be flat miles. Psy pushed on. He might have gone into Oil City yesterday, and he'll probably be, right now he's probably 10 miles ahead of us. Got out of camp late, around eight-ish. But there's a cutoff point, so we'll see him. And yeah, let's see what the day brings. A lot of today's video is gonna be from the iPhone because I charged my GoPro for an hour yesterday, but this morning it's not turning on, so we'll see how this video turns out. I think it still should be all right. All right, here we go. All right, just came off the Forest Service Road and hopping on Oil City Road. Um, yeah, this is the spot we were looking to try and reach the camp last night. But like I said earlier in the videos, didn't work out that way. So, got about five-ish more miles of road walking, and that'll put us at a trailhead for the coast. Cool, cool. Let's do it. Peace. The Ho River, which um, we end up following for about two miles to where the trail starts, still on Big Oil City Road, and I think we even follow it after we get on trail. So pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta check that out. All right, forgive me for the video um, this morning, but like I said, filming with the iPhone and I don't do it a lot, so don't really know what I'm shooting as well, but just getting back into Olympics, National Park, coastal side, hell yeah. Um, a little under a mile probably, 
to this trailhead where we self-register our camp spot. We're only gonna be in the park for a night. So we're shooting for a hole in the wall, but we might get to La Push and um, might not, might get there a little later than a local wants to take us across on a boat. So either way, we're happy. Got some coastal walking ahead of us. And yeah, good, good times. Kill, kill. Sweet, sweet. Peace. Ocean. That's our first ocean sign, Magpie. You're not gonna take a picture of it? She don't care, but um, that's our first legit sign for the ocean. Um, like somebody pointed out in one of the comments on my videos, I thought we were looking at the ocean, but I guess we were looking at straits or uh, yeah, not full ocean. So as you saw, 0.9 to the legit ocean. Let's go get it. Well, boys and girls, this is the Ho River, and that's a little beach right there, and that body of water right across there, that's the ocean. Anything to say, Magpie? No, she's just Her eating. Mouth is full. She's just eating. Nothing to say. It's better than Sai, though. Sometimes Sai will just give me the thumbs up or one of the fingers. All right, peace. All right, so from my last video, we ended up waiting about 45 minutes. Um, we're about 45 minutes into the tide going out. And, oh yeah, that's a good wave. And yeah, definitely have to time, time the tides around here because when it's high tide, it's high tide. So we got about a mile of this getting around that point and then it looks like we go in a bluff so we should be good but yeah it'd be hard to navigate at super high tide all right All right, beach walk. Mm, we're like wet rock hopping, as you can see. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's about way steep right there. Um, no, you just got hit by a couple swells. I would. It should be a lot lower than that. <laughs> oh man. Now uh man, you got hit by another swell. There we go. Yeah, but But now it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got a tough time here. It's not going out. <laughs> now it's going out. Let's go, 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 go. I'm trying. Oh fuck that move. Yeah, care. Yeah, this is where it gets way steep. <laughs> oh man. Jesus Christ, this is bullshit. Beach walk. Beach walk. 100% beach walk. Walk on a beach. Come to the dry rock. Ew, I hate barnacles. I can actually see beach on the other side of these rocks. Sweet. So, yeah, that was fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. When I heard beach walk, this is what I was picturing. Not that, but super fun. Really, really fun terrain. Just more difficult to hold a pace on. Um, yeah, can't complain. It's fun. Gives you a little bit of something different. And now we got a little bit of beach beach for a while. Until at least right around the corner where we go back onto a cliff. <laughs> All right. Peace. Get loose and slippery right there, don't they? Yep. Great. <laughs> Very happy for the rope. Oh, 
so we are back in rainforest once again just got to the top of the bluff out of bluff camp and um really muddy really really wet those ropes i got one video of it there are a couple of them some of them were actually a little sketchier than the one i got the video of but like i said we're at the top now kind of just bounce for a while until mosquito creek again we cross it and then i think it's beach walk for a little bit so should be able to make some time up here um really slow moving around those boulders on the beach but yeah cruising in the rainforest once again Oh man, y'all want to hike some rainforest, huh? Well, this is what a lot of it is. Not the bridge. The bridge was just coincidence. It's this. There was, was a rope here. I saw that. Thick, thick mud. Whew. Is there a rope? Yeah, there's a rope. I don't even see the rope. Well. The logs aren't slippery. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't touch it. I'd rather go this way. So this is Mosquito Creek at low-ish tide. Um, really nothing to worry about. You are going to get your feet wet. Um, really no way around that. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Um, but yeah, just popped off tr uh, the bluff trail and now we're on beach walking. It looks like legit beach walking for a little bit. So we'll be able to put a pace down and kind of cruise, which is super nice. Like this is actually something you can walk on for a while. That bluff trail was hard. Took us a little while with all that mud you saw, but we got about six miles of this, which is gonna be nice. And then, yeah, we're gonna push till I push. All right, peace. All right, so we're about eight and a half miles from um, the end of the quote unquote beach walk. And it's 3.40 now. We got about two more bluffs to go up and over, which might slow us down. But we need to keep a pretty strong pace because if we average two and a half miles per hour, it's gonna be about another four hours. And um, that's gonna be cutting it close with that tide coming in the tide starts coming back in at 440 ish so hopefully we can hold down a pace for a while and make it comfortably because not gonna wait on the other side of that tide we're, we're pushing a lot of push um yeah let's go get it Once more into the bluff. Oh yeah, steep one. Oh yeah. All right, let's get it. All right, this is the Ford of Goodman Creek at mile 1186 oh, point <laughs> jeez slippery stones point six or point seven and um not bad at all but also take into account it's almost exactly 430 which for us is dead low tide so i don't know how much uh heavier the flow gets but um 
yeah, like I said, take that into account. Looks a lot deeper up there. Good little Ford spot right here. And should be able to continue on trail right across this way. All right, get us back to that beach lifestyle. Let's do it. All right, um, track it. We got about five and a half miles left. Um, one more bluff in the future. I think it's in another three or four. But uh, just got up and over the last two bluffish ish Oh, I'm not going to say that right. But there were two climbs in there. Um, didn't slow us as down as much as we thought. So right around five, tides just switched back. Coming back in for the last 20, 30 minutes. So we'll be able to make it. And we're not going to get caught in it too bad. We might have to do some soft sand walking eventually. But we got some good time. Good time in. And we'll be able to cruise. Cruisy, cruisy. Please. So I think this is Tulik Beach Camp, mile 1188.3. There's a fire pit right behind me. Sorry, I'm not stopping. Um, like I said, time constraint with tides. But yeah, there was a fire pit right behind me. There might be some stuff tucked into these trees. But it sounds like this might be a true beach camp, so you're probably above the high tide line at being on a point. Um, not too bad. So yeah. Cool, cool. Let's go get it. Alright, so just passed right behind me, Strawberry Point Camp. If you see that cliff, it's right on that point tucked into the, to the bluff a little bit. Once again, really cool camp spot, but we got to cruise. We got to cruise. Oh, the GoPro still works. <laughs> so, as you can see, Magpie and I are both rappelling down a cliff right now. We got the dual rappels going. <laughs> and um, let me show you something real quick once I get down here. So, if you follow Gut Hook, he tries to bring you around that, which is called Scott's Bluff, and super impassable. Passable in no type of way. Like, we're about an hour on the other side of low tide, so it's coming in, but even with an hour of tide lower, I don't think it would be passable. I got up to here, as you can see, drenched. And I still wasn't in the deepest part of that, going around that bluff. So, mm-mm, mm-mm, don't do it. So we had to take a trail up another bluff and down. And now we got a little bit of beach walk and up another bluff. Nice little camp spot right on the coast. And if you check this out, Oh, it's going to be fun navigating that high tide. But we've got the magpie right behind. And, um, ooh, a little shelter. We're going to take a break and scope this out because it might be a little interesting, actually, at high tide. But, yeah, we will see. 
But what are you looking at right there, once again? That's ocean. So cool. Slippery. Woo All right, so um, mile 1193.2. And here's the water source. Uh, it's supposed to be fresh water at this little stream leading out. And a couple things. First thing, we made it before seven o'clock. We were trying to beat the tide. We were able to do that. And um, second thing, revolved around the tide as well. If you're trying to beat the tide, and you see that there's this last half mile of beach walk, you don't have to worry about it being impassable because you 100% can pass this. Even at high tide, it's just you're gonna have to walk in the soft sand. Oh, and third thing, um, for your last night on the PNT, if you're planning on doing bigger miles and camping before La Push, it's a personal preference, but if you camp here, you're gonna be camping around a lot of the tours from La Push itself. So take that into account. And um, we have one more, if you can see that circular sign, that's what you look for on the beaches for a uh, trail. We have one more up on the bluff and then we get to the push road Then just cruisy cruisy. All right, I'm gonna wait on Magpie. I think she's 10 minutes behind. All right, this must be our trailhead. And that means two miles to La Push. You are here, 0.7 of there, not far at all. All right, I'm sorry for the quick video. I gotta hit that privy and then bounce. All right. All right. So we are on the road into La Pouche and uh, the road crusher's in front and we got some road into town, hopefully some hot food and either camp at the RV park or I don't know, talk to some lokes, see what's up. Probably end up camping in town. But once again, we will see. We'll grab some grub, figure it out. Let it go. Welcome to La Push. <clears throat> Sweet. We are pretty much uh, somewhat in the town. And um, yeah, pretty awesome. Let's see what they got. All right. I texted them, but I don't know if I texted them. Yeah. There's something to one weird spot. Well, guys. Morning, morning. One last time coming from the PNT. And um, you wanna see our sick camp spot for the last night on trail. Right on the beach. Listen to that tide come and go last night. And La Push is directly behind us. You can actually see the outline of a building and we ate, we got to the restaurant last night right before it closed grabbed some grub and yeah it's about 6 a.m marina opens at 7 
for us to hop on a boat ride over this little, it's not little, you can't afford it, um, jetty. So I'm gonna hop on that and I think it turns into like 18, 19 miles of walking and we're done. So I got over yesterday, he's about a mile or two ahead of us. Um, if we don't catch him during the day, we'll catch him at the end. But yeah, last morning, morning of the PNT, we had a pretty epic spot for camping. As you can see right there, had a nice cherry Coke packed out from the Jenny. And yeah, gonna pack up, get to this marina. And I think they hook us up, hook us up with the ride. There's two numbers we can call, um, but we're just gonna walk in say we're pnt hikers and if there's numbers to call they should know what's up but yeah beach walking ahead of us cape lava we're coming for you today all right is it mm, good old washington all right so we walked over to the marina this morning not even seven we were going to try to get here as it was opening up and the guy comes out he's like you guys need to ride across yeah we do then he points us to the coffee so we got some fresh coffee this morning. Actually just ran out of coffee singles for the trail. So Magpie and I might've been fiending a little bit. And then we got potable water. And yeah, so I was taking a little bit to get a ride and awesome timing. All right, peace. All right, so we are right here. And this shows the rest of the PNT. Um, continues on up, Yellow Banks, Sand Point, Cape of Lava, our end spot, and then that's where we're meeting Chris. So that's pretty cool, shows the rest of the PNT miles, and um, we got our ride across. I didn't feel comfortable filming, um, solely because the guy, really cool guy, but I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want to film. But, yeah, we got across a little jetty. Magpie's probably a little bit up the beach walk, maybe? I don't know where she went. A little bit down the beach walk? I don't see anybody with a pack. Huh. Well, I'm going to start the beach walk. I'll find her, she'll find me, and yeah, time to cruise on, cruise on down to Cape Lava. Let's do it. Here we come, beach walk. So it looks like we're about to hit the famous hole in the wall. Oh, as you can see, very aptly named. Once more through the brink, Magpie. Once more into the brink. Very slippery. Yeah? Oh yeah, oh, got the foot wet already, nice. Sweet! All right, so that's right below mile 12 hundo. And pretty awesome, guys, pretty awesome. We uh, not only have some cruisy miles on the day, but if you look that way, is that sun you see? Why well, yes, yes it is. We're actually gonna get some sunshine for the last day on trail, which is awesome. All right, let's do it. Check out those ultra footprints. Leads up to a hiker. Yeah, for sure. Where'd he go? Under the rock. All the way under the rock? Yeah. No, no, there he is. He's coming that way. Oh, sorry. 
I'm just trying to get this video. Oh, and that's it. I'm not going to get too close to him. All right. Um, yeah, raccoon. Ooh. So once again, the PNT surprises you. Um, a lot tougher beach walk this morning than anticipated. It's uh, a lot of this, where you just kind of churn your feet in the thick uh, pebbles. And when it's not that, it's been pretty thick boulders that we've had to be climbing around slash small slick rock, like what I'm coming up to right now. So pretty difficult to put a pace down on, but um, pretty awesome scenery. It's just, I hope we can get there when we told told our buddy we were gonna get there we'll try but like I said turning the wheels in the sand like look at this one footstep and you go down pretty deep we'll try we will try all right peace Now this is beach cruising right here. Whew. Good uh, compacted sand, open up the pace on it. About to get to Cedar Creek Camp, which is um, 11 and some change away from the end. Gonna take a quick break there. Should be able to get there by noonish. And then that means if we hold two and a half or down, we'll still be able to finish up four or five ish so this uh yeah this compacted beach definitely helps the pace all right so magpie came from there i came from up there um this is mile 1206 ish right after cedar creek camp and the gut hooks trace went around this point but the dotted line went up and over and i was still shell shocked from my experience yesterday where i hit neck deep water and it was getting deeper around the quote unquote point so i went up and over but magpie's ahead of me a little bit so you can go around that point it seems like that point should be fine. Mile 1206-ish, right after Cedar Creek. All right, looks like we got some legit beach walking again. Open up the pace and we cruise. Let go. What? Yes, I did. Well, 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 we are underneath 
10 miles of the PMP left. Um, I would say nine and some change. And yeah, that's a couple more points to go around, which somewhat slow going, but should be able to get there at a good time. Sweet. All right, so mile 12, 11 ish. Um, we're 0 .3, 0 .3 from a uh, yellow banks camp, and pretty consistently, we just got onto this beach right here. But pretty consistently, from Norwegian to here, the last four ish miles was all the type of stuff that you saw in my previous videos, um, previous segments to this uh, video. It's just wet rock and yeah, very hard to keep a pace on, but eh, is what it is. Getting close to sub six for the rest of the trail. There was some good water back in that section about half a mile ago. Um, listen for it, it's up in the rocks, coming straight off the, the cliff face and there's no way for the salt water to get into it because it's a straight drop and past the high tide line. So, yeah, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, hopefully it stays like this type of beach for the rest of the trail. We'll be able to put down a pace and finish up around 5.30. Let's get it. Ooh, not slippery rock at all. Why would a wet cave have slippery rock? Uh-oh. A full-grown Constantine wasn't meant to fit through that hole. <clears throat> That's what she said. <laughs> okay. All right, four point six to go, and the sun has come back out for us. Pretty awesome. Underneath five miles. And it looks like it's smooth beach walking for a while, so we're gonna get it. All right, so underneath three miles to go. Um, just past, oh, I'm sorry, I blanked on the name. Um, yeah, three miles. Do you remember what camp we just passed? What it was called? Something point camp, but um, yeah, just passed it a uh, little after four. So if the beach stays okay, should be finishing right around five. A little after, um, finally heard about the Psy man, where he was. There was a guy that asked, uh, oh, are you on a long hike? Told him, yeah. Said some guy was looking for you. And it sounds like size about an hour ahead, which, um, would be he's finished by now congratulations man um it's definitely finished by now so we'll either see him there at the finish point or we'll see you uh with chris at ozet but oh yeah so I, we're we're not far behind you underneath three all right so that right there that point is Cape Lava, and that little island right off of it 
is where I've seen so many pictures of PNTers standing in front. Oh yeah, underneath two miles to go, the beach turns somewhat slow going again, rocks and deep sand, but adrenaline will push us there. Let's go. All right, all right. We are officially on the last mile of trail. A little bit under, I think we're at point nine right now. Just past Wedding Rock. That rock right there. Um, looks for the petroglyphs, couldn't find them. So kept cruising, I didn't wanna, I told Chris we would get in there four-ish. And it's 4.50 and we still have those three miles to walk into Ozette. So I don't feel the greatest. I, I keep checking for service, trying to text them. But um, hopefully size there with them and we're just kicking it. But yeah, last mile of trail. PNT, you were a good one. It was always a surprise with you. Every single day. You thought you knew what you were getting into? You did not. It was a surprise. And um, yeah, really nice trail system. Getting very, very close to the end. Last mile, like I said, even under. So I'm gonna sit back and contemplate the journey. All right. For one of the last times for the PNT. Cool, cool. Peace. All right, so just passing um, Camp Cape Alava, which is the end of the gut hook miles for this PNT through hike, but not the end of the official PNT through hike. You see that island right there? That's the westernmost point on the continuous 48 states. So we got about another, mm, I think it came out to right underneath a mile to get there. And yeah, we're not going by gut hook miles. We're walking that bad boy. Um, so we're gonna end up adding two more miles onto it. It's a little after five now, 5.10. Get there around 5.30. Magpie's a little behind. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna wait on her. And yeah, end up rolling into Ozette a little later than we want, but it's what it is. All right, done the gut hook miles. Plug in this extra mile. Woo. All right, all right, all right. Now I am standing on the official Cape Alava. Nothing you see that way is more Western than me. There's the official little island everybody gets their picture at. Nothing that way is more west than me. Oh, I walked by a building I was in the mo mode so much. Um, I go put a hand on this island. Oh, I'll keep you along for the journey. Looks like it's gonna take a little bit with all these rocks, but you know how I like to ramble, so we can keep it going. Um, yeah, official, official Cape Lava. PNT, baby, it's only, I just checked our maps. I think it's only another, probably comes to actually right underneath a mile from Cape Lava Camp. So we'll still have four miles to get back to Ozette where we're meeting Chris and definitely Sai. But um, yeah, this is, this is it. I am the westernmost person right now. <laughs> That's a trip in the continuous 48 states. Nobody right now is on land in these states at a more western point than I am. Oh man, that is a trip. And here we are. Um, I want to touch this island. I'm going to sit right there. Put my trekking poles down there. How can I touch it? Sorry about the longevity of this video, but through hikers got to do what they got to do, right? Going this way to touch it. A lot of rock hopping today. And as you can see, I've picked up a thing or two. 
got easier as the day went on, not harder. That feels right. That feels right. Man, not so much. This trail was short. Um, had a little bit of just recalling on the last couple miles, but not as much as on a long distance trail. Um, it's gonna probably start hitting as soon as we turn around and start walking to Ozette. But yeah, this hike is done. PNT baby. Right now it's day 50 and I actually believe, let me get my phone out. I actually believe I started at 5.30-ish on um, June 24th. And right now it is, I'm gonna try to get you in the shade so you can see it. It is 5.24 on the 12th. So almost exactly 50 days, which is pretty awesome. All right. I'm going to sit down, wait on the magpie, and think I can see her. She's not 10 minutes behind. Once again, this might be the last time. I might get her doing some walking up, but one of the last times on the PNT at least. Peace. Have a good one. As you can see, the wild magpie approaches her destination. She rock hops a couple final times. And she gets closer, there's a smile on her face, a lightness to her pack, a quickness to her stride. <laughs> Look at her go. Her pants may be dirty, but her soul is happy. Her soul is clean. And we got another PNT through hiker. Sit it! Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna sit for a second, take in what it means to be sitting the two most Western people right now, <laughs> and uh, then go find our buddies at Ozette. Sweet. PNT through hikers, official through hikers. We're done. Out. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna include this video in, just shooting it, because it's habit. I like to shoot video. Um, so underneath three miles left of the Cape Alava Connector Trail, that brings us into Ozette. And it's not trail miles, but the pretty much only way for a westbound through hiker to get out of there is this trail system. And it's like six o'clock on the dot. So we should be able to make it a little before seven. Looks pretty flat. We will see though. Um, yeah, smooth, uh, smooth sailing. Still haven't fully processed that we're PNT through hikers now, but it's definitely starting to spread the cool feeling. And um, yeah, just gonna walk this for a while. Until we run into our buddies. Well, there you go. All right, this is the pretty much end of the connector. Um, and it's 3.3-ish miles long. Did it in about 45 minutes. I think almost exactly 45. And um, yeah, you can put a pace down. Pace down through there. Pretty smooth sailing. So, yeah, this was our connector. So now it's time to look for the crew. Cy and uh, Chris and them should be somewhere around here. Sorry, this stuff's so quick. I'm trying to trying to find the crew.
he died, man. Holy shit, there he is! There they are! Oh man, so, spin move, and we got the crew right here. What up, Chris? Dude, yeah. oh, thank you, man, thank you. job well done. Whew. crushed! <laughs> Film's filming me. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. man. I you got swept out there. Sorry, this stuff so quick. I'm trying to trying to find the crew. I thought you died, man. Holy shit! There he is. There they are. Oh man, so spin move, and we got the crew right here. <laughs> What up, Chris? Congratulations, Dude. brother. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Job well done, Ooh. man. Chris! <laughs> Film's filming me. Yeah. Hell yeah, Dude, man. I thought you got swept out to the ocean or something. I did. Dude, at one point I got caught by, uh, did I tell you I was going around that cape? So who would have thought PNTers would get treated like this? Congrats, PNT through hikers 2019. This is like the best welcome I've had. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Got the balloons and everything. Chris is the man. Chris is the man. Very deserving. Aww. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, everybody should be proud. Make it make us feel embarrassed. But PNT hikers, through hikers and size been here for eight hours. Which baffles the hell out of me. Five hours. You got here like two, didn't he? Yeah, about two. Alright, still baffles the hell out of me. Alright, 